artists appeal to me. In fact, artists of all disciplines appeal to me. And so I work with actors and I work with dancers and I work with performing artists, but I've always loved music. It's always moved me. And so it makes particular sense for me to work with musicians. And then it makes particular sense for me to work with uh, musicians who create the kind of music that I respond to. Because then as an artist, we're responding to each other on a couple of levels. And I think that makes the whole experience richer for both of us. Myself as the photographer and them as my subject. I was thinking I would present to you uh, the idea that we might shoot outdoors again, uh -huh. just because there's still some some territory that I haven't. Uh, uh, I've always had it in mind for you and mm -hmm, I, but mm -hmm. I've not. We've not done it yet. Mm -hmm. It's a creek. There's a couple of spots to access the creek near my house, but. And I remember you talking about that before the very first shoot we did yeah. at your home. So it's been on my mind since yes, then. So yes. What, what five oh, years funny. or something? Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, about five years, uh, I've been thinking I want to get down to this creek and uh, and shoot. And uh, there's a couple of places we can go, and one is close to the house, and one would be a short drive. Okay. But it would get us into the creek comfortably. Mm -hmm. and, and the creek, I mean, during this drought we've had runs and trickles. It, yeah, yeah. So it's yeah. not anything we have to. Yeah. It's actually just very. There's a couple of spots that are really unique. It's yeah. really pretty, and it's. I don't know. It feels natural. Okay. Quite literally, uh -huh. a natural place mm -hmm. for me to shoot. Mm -hmm. That sounds fabulous. I mean, if you were up for it, if you wanted to go indoors, but you know, we could talk about where. Um, no, I was very interested in, as as I like to think I always am, um, making pictures that are what you're looking for as well as what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. um, and if there's a particular mood or a particular environment that feels right to you right now, that's mm -hmm. where I want to shoot, absolutely. I just feel it. You know, I, I feel like, you know, we've d done good things outdoors. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And though I don't want to ever be reluctant to go indoors, like my favorite shot that you, you've ever done of me what happened to be a studio shot. Yeah, yeah. Your studio. Boy on a string Can you sing, can you play anything For the girl With the near perfect smile And for a while Won't you stay, what's another day anyway the girl with the near perfect smile she was the one who could shine now, ideally I like to get together before the day of the shoot and sit down with them and talk about what their goals are and what my goals are and sometimes we'll do two um, a two well a two part session maybe many more than two parts but Sometimes we'll do some pictures that they envision and some pictures that I envision. Sometimes we're envisioning the very same thing. My worries keep calling, they won't let me rest. Tired of fighting, but I can't give in. If I lose this struggle, if this time I fall, I surely will see the end of my road. And I ain't gonna do it, I ain't gonna fall, I ain't gonna do it, that's all. No, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna fall. Lean forward. 
Kevin, that way a little bit more. Good. All right. This actually has possibilities. It's not really stumbling. I'm worried Good. about. Good. I've been down on my knees. I know. Uh, and move in a little bit more. Good. Yep. And Kieran, lean towards uh, Kevin a little bit. Eyes. Good. Seeing everything slide. Lucas, lean forward a little bit and stretch out a little bit more. Put your arms on the back of the settee. Yes, good. I like it. And I ain't gonna do it. I ain't uh, fat sit up a little bit more and lean to your left a little bit. Excellent. All right, every look here. Excellent. No, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna fall. I ain't gonna do it. That's all. happy. So you guys should look happy, please. I appreciate your time this afternoon so much, and we are done. No one can help me. Making pictures of people, I often like to bring in a makeup artist who will do styling for my subjects, both men and women, and that might include makeup and hair, and it might include helping with wardrobe selections for the portraits that we'll be making. One of my favorite stylists in Milwaukee is Netta Stevick. She's very sensitive to how the client feels in front of the camera, and so she's able to help them relax and to make great choices regarding how they look on film that make them comfortable and make them look their best. First time I photograph someone, part of the experience is the experience of kind of feeling each other out, figuring out the rhythm, they're becoming comfortable with me, we are gaining confidence in each other's responses and ability to understand what we're both looking for and how we can collaborate to make that happen. Do Dion has some qualities that I don't always find in photographers. Uh, some of those qualities are kindness, flexibility, uh, patience, and approachability. I've always been nervous about photo shoots because some photographers make their subjects feel kind of surf-like. They boss you around pretty good, and most of us get enough of that from club owners and manager types and uh, spouses. With Dion, though, that the process is pleasant and collaborative and she winds up with things the artist would never have envisioned but that seem perfectly in keeping with the subject's personality, both their on-stage and off-stage personalities. Over the past couple of years, I have begun working more and more on location. Part of that is because I'm traveling more and I don't have a studio in the locations to which I'm traveling. And so we are either forced to or choosing to work in an artist's home in their rehearsal space, 
on stage, in a dressing room, all sorts of other spaces other than the controlled studio environment. And the wonderful revelation for me was that I love doing that. I wanted to make pictures at sundown on this particular bridge because there's this beautiful alchemy that happens when the sun begins to set and the lights on the bridge become, begin to come up. And it was a perfect moment on the perfect day to make those pictures. My dear friend Dion sent me a book, and it was called The Widow of the South. I was just roped right in. You know, the, the place, the cemetery, the plantation, is 20 miles down the road, if that. It's just a, it's a soulful place, much more of a soulful place than I thought it was. You call me the king of love, but don't I wish I were? I wouldn't even call myself a gifted amateur. I am the king of nothing, I am most skin and bone. And of all the broken hearts I broke, I'm mostly broke my own. But you don't have to tell me, honey. I've always been real relaxed around Dion, because she's the only photographer I know who uh, actually takes the, the photographs uh, in her bra and panties. And that always usually puts me, uh, makes me a little uptight, but in her case. No, but it's like, I was telling Dion the other day, it's like uh, your photographer, uh, or, you know, it's like your psychiatrist. You, you know, some people, you can't, you can't relax while they're taking your picture. And with, uh, you know, uh, Dion, you can. You can just make those, you grab those looks you know work. And then some looks, yeah, they might work and might not. People stop me on the street. God, you're adorable. Let me take your picture. Let me give you some money. But, uh, but that the little the thing yesterday was usually because I'm not getting any younger and it's. But we always have good luck. You know, and and some people take a great shot, but it's like, you know, they say, "Well, I look like Harpo Marx in that <laughs> that one." I don't like, the, yeah, but the framing and the whatever, yeah, it's, it's perfect. It's just not a perfect picture of me, so. The picture taking thing is it's almost as much voodoo involved or maybe even more as recording music if you're sitting there looking at about 75 great pictures you know and they're all like sound photographically and i look like a, a, a human being <laughs> and then you can well you find the right find the mojo in the pictures you know it's a, a credit to my bone structure and her great ability to make chicken salad out of well, you stuff. know I'm not that slippery, baby Nor am I that strong I'd like to say how right you are But I cannot, you're wrong You won't hear me say what you already know to be true I don't even try no more to not keep loving you I just put you on the old back burner I'll think about other stuff That should be for the key of love. I'll just put your big ass on the old back burner. And I'll think about other stuff. That ought to be just a piece of cake for the mighty.